What's up, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and we're going to be testing out a nerf that has come through, or supposedly has come through, for the triangles in the high threat zone. So the first step, I do need to make it over to the high threat zone. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it over there fast enough. I guess we're going to have to wait and see how many people rush in. And then the idea is we're going to test a few things just to see how these triangles function now. Supposedly, once you shoot three symbols on one and activate a triangle, or at least get it to glow... You will not be able to shoot the symbols of another one until you've completed and or the triangle that you shot at first or activated first has then cooled down. So we're going to head over to the high threat zone. Hopefully I can make it over there in time. And I also do want to see if they cool down at some point, allowing another user to activate them after set amount of time or if they're just one hit per run. Now we've made it over here to the high threat zone area. I do need to throw that. I haven't even activated my perks yet. I'm going to shoot this. Go ahead and shoot that. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot that. Then I need to activate all my stuff. Hey, how it closes my backpack. Okay, climb, climb, climb. Faster. All right, now that we're up here, I'm going to go ahead and throw another one of these. Give me a second here. I'm going to activate my stuff again. Boom, boom. Boom and boom. Okay. So now the idea is we can see if we can shoot another one. Come on, let me climb up. Nope. Oh. Okay, well, let me jump over here. So I can dodge all these guys for a second here. Okay. Nope. So while I have that one activated the way it is, as you can see over there, it is glowing. I'm unable to shoot or activate another one here. Now, I don't think that that's going to hinder us from getting another one. I should go up here and try to complete this just to see if we're able to do it before someone tries to come and grab it. Are right, we activated this. There is people on this other side. It looks like they're activating that one or they're doing that one over there, which is fine. I don't know if that's going to mean I won't be able to complete this fast enough to actually try to do this other one. That is the idea. And then I can go over there and check at some point whether or not theirs cooled down. I think this does help mitigate the issue to a certain degree because now you can't gatekeep them completely. There has been people that make their way over here with a scorcher off the rip. They shoot the three symbols. They go to the next one. They shoot the three symbols. They go to the next one. They shoot the three symbols. And then they go to their first one, try to knock it out. And obviously, at that point, they have enough time before it cools down to go to the next one. And they can get all three and gatekeep anyone else from grabbing them. Oh, someone already made it over here to start shooting one. So exactly my point. As you can see here, even though I'm trying to test it for the video, they are actually able to go ahead and activate that before I was able to complete this. Now, normally I would have probably completed this a little bit faster since we wouldn't normally be doing it for a video, but hey, it, it pretty much further proves the point that it is effective, right? So that is an, actually a really good change to this in general, unless it's the guys that came from over here, which is fine too. But I think that is actually a really good change because it gives people a significantly higher chance of making it over here and getting these triangles. Now, of course, it doesn't stop people from splitting up from their party, going to the three individual ones, doing the exact same thing, and then obviously holding them for that time. But I'm sure if that continues to be an issue, it'll be something that they actually do something about, essentially. But I do want to head over to this first location just to ensure that it isn't popped back up. And I also do want to wait around a little bit just to see if it does decide to pop back up. So as we can see over here, I come over here, there's absolutely no symbols to be shot, which means we cannot activate this triangle in this area, getting access to some more flawless crystals. Oh, I don't need them. Why is this guy dropping them for me? So that's even weirder. That guy came over here, grabbed them, and now he's dropping them. Uh, I guess I'm going to pick them up since... Yeah, that's interesting. Well, we don't get nice people every time either. That's a crazy uh experience for me that's never happened and i don't even need them so i could technically go and find somebody else to drop them for but that is cool it's cool to see that that is something that people are still doing i am going to sit around here for a few minutes just to see if something happens or if these pop back up but i don't think that they will i do think that is something that they should consider absolutely consider having a cool down period whether it's 15 minutes so that way it pops up three times a match maybe 10 minutes be more reasonable i guess because it takes people time to get there after a 10 minute cooldown, have it show back up, give it another team an opportunity and make it where it's not able to be done by the same team multiple times. So let's say, for example, I make it in here, I shoot these three, I take this, even if there was a cooldown period of 10 minutes, even after that 10 minutes, the only people that could shoot the symbols, which they can clearly make happen since they can block you if you have one activated, then you wouldn't be able to do it again, right? So you couldn't farm it, 
but it would become available for more players to actually be able to get access to, that would definitely be a huge W. Now, not all players in MWZ are toxic, as we saw in this video specifically. Guy came through, he managed to drop some items for me, knowing, or I guess he was thinking that I was actually coming over here trying to get one of these triangles. So maybe he felt bad that he didn't need them and he came over here and got them ahead of time. I'm not really sure the case. Maybe they do that intentionally, as I know some people do, but it is not always the case. There is always the chance, which is obviously why they decided to make this decision, where people were making their way over here, trying to gatekeep all of the triangles, whether or not they needed the items or not, essentially. They just wanted to block other players. For some reason, toxicity does exist in this mode where people want to influence other people's experiences in a negative way, even though there's no PVP involved. Okay, I'm back in the exact same spot. This is about 10 minutes later, or give or take 10 minutes since we first came over to this location. And again, you cannot see any of the symbols back up as they have not respawned. There is probably not going to be a respawn of these whatsoever. Not that I thought that there would be, but I figured, you know what? It doesn't hurt to hang out. We can just see exactly how long or exactly how much time, I guess I should say, goes by and whether or not they actually do respawn. I will still continue to wait a little bit longer just in case, but I'm going to go check the other location, which I started in just to make sure none of those have popped up either. So we're back over at the first location. Obviously, this is the one that I took out myself. There is no symbol there. There's no symbol on the wall. None of the symbols have returned. So I think that that is something they definitely did not change. They're still one and done. The only difference is now, whenever you make it over to it, you can only activate one or at least light one up. Then you actually have to activate it or allow it to cool down before you can shoot the symbols of another triangle, which greatly increases the odds of another team making it over here in time and being able to activate one, getting access to the flawless crystal and legendary tool. Now, I do think there are going to be some people that might be upset about this, but most of those people will probably be the ones that are a little bit more on the toxic end actually coming in and activating all three, gatekeeping them from other players, which I think is kind of sad. Personally, for myself, if I need one, I come in, I go over to this area. If it's available, I try to capture one, of course, Then I leave the other two for players that are in this area that might make their way in eventually. And essentially at that point, they can grab them if they need them. If I'm still in this area at the end of the match and nobody seems to care or grab the triangles or even 30 minutes into the match, then I will grab them and keep moving forward. And you'll still be able to do that. From my understanding, obviously, we weren't able to do it in this run specifically since people did make it over in time, proving the point of why this thing needed to actually change. We weren't able to shoot a second one after, but you will be able to still do another triangle once you've completed the one that you started, basically. So you just can't activate more than one at once. Makes sense. And this, again, gives way more players, way more opportunities to be able to actually challenge or come in and actually get access to these items and not have to challenge every single player in a speed race to make it over here in time. So, Oh, just as we're talking, there's a guy that went down over here. I need to get some decoys. I'll pick him up. But outside of that, I think this is a W nerf to this specific area. Now, I think some people would rather these things get removed. I'm not really in the boat where I think that they don't belong in the game. I think they're a great asset to have, and I think they definitely benefit a lot of players. But it is kind of a hit or miss whenever it comes down to the reality of who can get there first. You know, it's just the Scorcher gang at that point. So W nerf or W change to these triangles here in the high threat zone. I think overall, at least more people will be able to get access to the rewards a little bit more often. You won't have to come here and be completely gate kept out of the scenario. Hold on, I got to point one thing out before we wrap things up here. This... Why am I getting hit so fast? These, the zombie's too fast, first of all. But this, coming across, proves that people grab bounties. Oh, there it is. Look. Can't actually even show you. I'm trying to show you. It's a little bit too chaotic. Where'd it go? There it is. Nox Whirl. You know what that means? I mean, somebody grabbed this bounty and left it here, hoping someone else would eliminate it and they would get the essence. I think that's the bait and switch people have been doing for quite some time and something I've been mentioning are people just grabbing the contracts and leaving the area? The answer is absolutely. I mean, that guy clearly or somebody clearly grabbed a bounty in this zone, left it there for somebody else to grab. Kind of wild. Okay, funny enough, I made it to the exfil and this is the guy I saved in tier three. Well, it is good to see that they actually did make a change to these triangles. I don't know if it's the change I would have preferred. I would have preferred them giving access to them multiple times per match, giving more teams and players access to them. But you know what? A change in the right direction is a W. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video. All support the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.